Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Friday. I didn't have work today. I have a nice four day weekend. I also did the reverse braid, kind of messy, but this is how it turned out because my hair is really dirty. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow, but I wanted to start off this vlog and it's probably just gonna be a really long vlog of a few days. Welcome back to another video and we'll see where this vlog takes us. So I've just been sitting here editing, that's a cute face, last weekend's vlog. I got some stuff from Aloe, I'll probably show you it tomorrow, some really cute things. And they sent this bag, if you spend a certain amount, you get this bag for free. So I got this bag and I think it's just so cute. And it's perfect for the beach, workout bag, basically anything, just a carry-all type of bag so I'll show you what I got I kept the tags so that way um, you guys can find them easily on the site but of course I'll link the items that I got below they gave me more of their skincare I didn't really get a good feel for the skincare when I went to West Palm Beach and I took it with me I didn't get a good feel of it we're gonna try it again and we're gonna see if I like it. I think if you place any order, it doesn't matter the amount, I think they give this to you for free, but I could be wrong. Um, but the last order that I placed and this order, they both gave me this, so. And then I got the free bag. I think this bag is like 40 bucks on their site, which is, it's not, that's not the cheapest thing, I get it. But um, if you do find a few items on Aloe and you spend a certain amount, they give you this bag for free, so yeah. It is the next day. Like promised, I wanted to show you the stuff that I got from Aloe. So I was just gonna do like a little try on of what I got just in case you've seen this stuff on their site and you're interested in purchasing it for yourself but you wanna see it on someone. I know when I see it on someone else other than the model, it kinda helps when deciding if you actually like want it or not and if it would like look good on you, what size to get and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, I'm not wearing any of the pieces right now. I have them over there, so I'm just gonna throw them on and I'll show you. Start off, I got this long sleeve top. It's like a stretchy material. It's white, cropped. Um, it says the little aloe in the back. So I just got this tee. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, it's like long sleeve. It's a thicker, stretchy material. I really don't know how to describe the material other than I know you can see it like stretching. So that's the material. So I saved the tags. So it's the double take pullover. I got it in white and in a size extra small. I'm wearing like a purple bra top underneath it and you can't even tell that I'm wearing this color underneath it. So thicker material. Next is these sweatpants. I've been eyeing these sweatpants for a little while. I was kind of worried about how they would fit um, because they're made to be just like a little bit baggier and a little bit more oversized. What I like about them too is they're super high-waisted and it still has room right here. So it's kind of almost like a men's fit if that makes sense and um, also it ties right here in the front and I like how it scrunches all the way around instead of just scrunching in the front the cheaper sweatpants and joggers tend to like only bunch in the front so i like how it kind of bunches all the way around and there's pockets not super tight in the ankle at least on me that's the back i got a size i got a size extra small they're a nice gray material can you tell I took them off so I could show you, but they're this really soft material. So I wanted to show you the gray sweatpants first because you can kind of tell what something looks like when it's on a lighter color than when it's black. So this is just the same sweatpants in 
black. I think they're so cute. They're the same thing, same. The sizing is consistent across both colors. That's what I got from Aloe, and I also, yeah, let me show you. I showed this yesterday, but if you spend a certain amount, like if you get these three items, you get a free tote bag. So if you're interested in all these items, go ahead and get them because you get this for free. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So I'm a little bit confused. I don't really know what's going on. Um, Christian woke up this morning and goes, so it's Valentine's Day weekend. Christian goes, pack a bag, be ready to go. Um, like after 2.30. And I don't know what that means. He's never done this before, so I really don't, I don't even know what to pack. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. Um, he just said pack a bag. So I'm gonna be packing a bag. I'm using my new bag, which I love. Um, sorry, you're on like my little tripod. I don't know what to pack. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing and yeah. So I'm trying to be a little bit better about surprises because I'm not like super into surprises, but I'm trying to be more into them. You know, they're fun. You know, let's live life on the edge instead of always having a plan for something. Let's just let things flow. Let things be. Let things come as they, they are. <sighs> I'm going to bring you guys along, but I'm nervous because I don't know what to expect. So let's pack a bag and... <laughs> We'll see where we go. Long trips. I have to record that again because you were slurping. Ready? Okay, so we just got to the hotel in St. Augustine. So that's where we came today. I haven't been to St. Augustine in a really long time. Also, sorry if you can hear the fan in the bathroom. There's no way to have the bathroom lights on with no fan. But um, we're going to explore St. Augustine and walk, try and find some place to go for dinner. But I um, wanted to show you my outfit. I just got this top from Princess Polly. It's actually a bodysuit and it unbuttons right here so that way you can like get it on easier. But yeah. And it's getting a little bit chillier outside, so I'm glad that I packed long sleeves because I had no idea where we were going. And then I'm wearing these jeans from Zara. And then these shoes are really old. And I couldn't decide on belt or no belt, so I just went with belt because we're going to be walking to dinner and I feel like these jeans get loose really quickly when we're walking because I wore them to West Palm Beach and they got loose when we were like walking all over. And then I just took the long strap off my Louis and wore it as a short strap. So it's the outfit of the night and yeah we'll see what where we go for dinner. dinner and we went to Harry's in St. Augustine and if you ever go you need to get the deep fried or Oreo beignets. They're delish. Hello. It is the next day. Christian just went inside to check us out of the little hotel that we were staying at and um, now we're gonna go get coffee. I need coffee so bad. It's almost 10 30. I need coffee breakfast and then it's kind of rainy and gross outside so I don't know if we'll be doing like much exploring but I do want to see like some of the like historic parts of St. Augustine because I haven't been here since I think like the fourth grade or like some other elementary school grade we came here for a field trip so I haven't seen it since I was young and when you're that young I feel like you can't like appreciate it or you just don't like appreciate things like that or hold any type of value to experiences like that I don't know um, which is stupid and lame but kids don't understand the concept of things so I feel like I just didn't appreciate it like I was like wow this is cool but um, I feel like I'll have more of appreciation towards it now oh so where do you want to go for breakfast because I had some places that I was thinking about um, 
but there are only like coffee places. So I was thinking that we could go to a cool coffee place and then go to breakfast. Like, I gotta get you know, the hospital to take these two people a while. Who do we have to do that? The next day I spent the morning making a TikTok or like a reel, an Instagram reel, which I've never done before. Uh, I made it up the trip. Um, I started it, I did it because Christian like planned this trip, so I didn't even know if it was gonna make it into anything, but when Christian was like, oh yeah, we're going away for the weekend and I'm not telling you where we're going, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a reel out of it. And um, I didn't think it was, like I didn't know if it was gonna be anything or not. So I just started making it and hoped for the best. And it actually turned out pretty good for my first reel. I need to go to the grocery store. I have like a really long list. Christian and I don't have anything in the fridge. So I need to go do like a huge restock. I think we're going to Costco later when he comes home from work i'd stay off because it's president's day so i feel really lucky that i have a 40 weekend i'm doing laundry i unload the dishwasher i'm just doing a lot of stuff i don't know how long i'll carry the vlog into today but i need to edit a video and um try and get it up by tomorrow and yeah that's about it just doing a bunch of <laughs> chores basically so it is um, a little bit later in the day. Christian and I went to Costco, actually, and this is a mess, so I'm sorry, but we got, let me just, got a bunch of chicken breasts, which is actually so much better to go to Costco and get chicken than it is Publix or anywhere else. It's so cheap. We got six sets of four boneless skinless chicken thighs for $16. We got these for $16 and another set. I'm marinating one right now. I'll show you that in a second. And then we got um, basically 12 chicken breasts for $21. So if you have a Costco membership or if you're thinking about getting a Costco membership, you might as well just get one. You save so much money and these come vacuum sealed already. So they're already vacuum sealed. You can refrigerate them, freeze them, do whatever you want and they stay good in the freezer unlike buying it <laughs> basically saran wrapped at Publix. So I have some, sorry if this is gross to you, I'm just like not even gonna really show you. So I have some chicken thighs in this bag that I'm marinating in 
this island soyaki. I think it's like has pineapple. So it's made with soy sauce, pineapple juice, garlic, ginger, and sesame seeds. So we got a grill. I'll show you. So we got a grill, it's right there. We're gonna grill these tonight. Some chicken thighs and this. I haven't tried this before. I'm thinking it's good. So I'll let you know if it's good. And we're gonna do like jasmine rice and broccoli. So it's dinner. I'm drinking one of these chlorophyll aloe drink. It's good. It doesn't it doesn't taste like weird or greeny or anything like that, even though it is very green. I in fact changed because I got something on my white shirt. <laughs> it won't even come out. So I'm I washed I'm washing it for the second time to see if it's gonna come out. We'll see. If not, it's about to be either be because I first washed it with a load of whites and I don't have any more whites and I didn't want to wash it by itself. So it's either the stain's gonna come out, the shirt's gonna turn blue because I washed it with jeans, or the shirt's gonna be fine, the stain's gonna be there, and I'm gonna have to crop the shirt if I wanna keep it. So at least we have options. This is what I threw on, I'm repping my college. So I went to Publix today and I was looking all over for Key Lime LaCroix because that's my favorite flavor. Lemoncello is good, really good too, but Key Lime is my all time favorite. I called Christian to see, he's at the gym. I called him to see because I saw that Target had them in stock. I looked it up online and I called him to see what time he would get home and then he said, I'm right by Target, I'll just pick up the Key Lime LaCroix. And that is just my love language. Chickens? 